sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then. Cross your eyes. Man. Yeah, man. man. That's a, a, a classic series called That's My Mama. Came out in the 70s. Yeah. Uh, yep. I'm a 70s baby, not an 80s baby. So I got a chance to witness some of the best. Like TV programming. Wow, thank that, you. That that really impacted. Uh, well, first of all, Ted Lanch is here, ladies yes, and gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Who played Junior? Right, right on. That's my mama. On, That's, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you had who were the other actors on there? We had Teddy Wilson, who was yeah. Earl the Postman. Clifton uh -huh. Davis, of course. Yeah. Who uh, was uh, the son of Mama and Teresa Merritt, yeah. who was uh, Mama. That was Mama and. Yeah. For us growing up in a black community, like I was, we had uh, Ron Howard here. And Did you really? Yeah, Ron Howard yeah, who was yeah. in um, an Andy Griffith show. Yeah. Was in um, Happy, uh, Days. Happy Days, yeah. and then became this super producer and director. And, and yeah. director, and um, and I was telling him how these shows really kind of resonated with us in the household. We didn't have the internet and all those things at that time, yeah. and it kind of was it was escapism for us, mm -hmm. you know, because. You grew up in Oakland. I grew up in Oakland off 23rd Ave. Mm -hmm. um, and at that time, it was, you know, it, it was rough. You know, we, we were on welfare and, and we struggled. And um, But those shows kind of gave us inspiration and, yeah. and motivation. And, yeah. and then you guys in these episodes, you have problems, but you also have fun. So yeah. we, we learned how to have fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you had a character that was just street savvy, you know, yeah. at that time, <laughs> Junior. Yeah. And... Um, Junior used to do this famous thing, man. I don't know if you still got that in you. Ooh, -wee. yes! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, you know what's interesting? When when I did it, uh, 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 they did a sh show called The First Family of Washington. Uh huh. And it had Godfrey Cambridge in it and Teresa Merritt. That was wow. the original pilot. Uh huh. Okay. And it took place in a barbershop. Everything was the same. Godfrey Cambridge, yeah. so, for some of you older people, you might know who he is. He was the son, and Columbia Pictures looked at that and they they said, well, this the only thing we like about this pilot is the mama, mm. so we're going to uh, redo the whole thing, and we're going to get a new cast. So my character, uh, I um, went in and read for First Family of Washington, but they had already cast, and they said, well, we're already done. And I said, well, well, geez, I don't understand why I'm here then. They said, well, we just wanted to take a look at you. Mm -hmm. uh, we heard we heard about you. Your agent was very positive about you. But we, we're done. Yeah. So then when they threw out the show, they said, okay, we're going to do it again. They bought me back. Uh -huh. And I got down to a screen test, and there were three of us. And uh, Clifton Davis had to do a screen test. And uh, we went in. We did this screen test. Now... What happened was this. When the show was, we did the pilot episode. When the show was going on the air, uh, people said, well, the little guy uh -huh. who does all of that street stuff, we don't want him on the show. Wow. They said, why? Well, because he's a pimp. He said, well, no, he's only like 16 or 18. What are you talking <laughs> about? He's a pimp. <laughs> well, look how he moves. He moves like a pimp. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, they said, so they said, okay, you know, so they called me up and they said, Ted, you're off the show. Wow. So I go, wow, man. Then someone else at Columbia said, no, he's funny. It worked. So they called me back and said, you're on the show. <laughs> so I go, all right, all right. Man. So then they call me back and someone says, no, screw that. We not. We don't want that guy. He's because black people are going to get mad because he's mm -hmm. doing, they think we're making fun of pimps and all that. We don't want it. You're off. So this went back about six times, back and forth. You're on, Damn. you're off, you're uh -huh. on, you're off, you're on, you're off. Finally, they said, you're off the show. Uh huh. No more debate. I said, okay, cool, but uh, be sure to watch the American Film Institute uh, AFI Awards uh -huh. for James Cagney uh -huh. because I'm receiving an award. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. it, baby, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So they watched the show, and there were only three black people in the room. I'll never forget this. We were in Century City Plaza Hotel. Uh -huh. The mayor was there, Cicely Tyson was there, and I was there. Yeah. And every white movie star you could think of was there for James Cagney. Uh -huh. They show the uh, thing on television. 
the Columbia call, Pictures calls my agent and says, we're, re, we're putting them back <laughs> in the show. <laughs> they had already started <laughs> rehearsing. Uh-huh. Yeah. But they put me back in the show. They gave me four lines, and they said, well, let's see how he works out. Uh, do you remember those lines? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, Clifton. <laughs> wee I'm out of here. Bye. No, I don't remember. You, you don't remember. Okay. Don't remember. Now, Ted Lange is here, yeah, man. Yeah. They don't, I want to talk more about that and, and, and that character you play, but also uh, when you started transcending any... The, the Love Boat wasn't a show for black or white. or it, yeah. That was a show for everyone. And I want to talk about how you landed that role as Isaac, the bartender. Okay. All right, And then talk about your new show, um, Mind of a Man, that's on the Game Show Network, 888-742-3345. But dedicate this one to Junior, P-I-M-P. <laughs> hey! Yes, Ted Lands, Isaac from The Love Boat is here. Yes. Come on, sing that with me. I know. Hey. Exciting and new. Come aboard. We're expecting you. Bring it on, Tracy. Love. <laughs> she don't know it. She don't know it. She's too young. Boom. I'm Boom. learning it. Let it flow. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Beautiful. Listen to this. It floats back to you. I like that, like. Love. Love. Ah. So we'll be making another run. Say the love boat, Tracy. Ready? Go. The love boat. Yeah. Promises yeah. something for everyone. Oh, man. Yo, when this show was out, where I was at, I think it used to come on Friday night. Right. Mm-hmm. Saturday. Saturday night for Saturday, Saturday night. night. Saturday night. Saturday nights, and you had the Love Boat, and you had Fantasy Island. Yeah, Ooh. that was it. And if you, I don't care. It, it wasn't like you had DVRs at that time. We didn't even have a, a VCR, a VCR <laughs> at that time. So and you didn't have, um, you know, the uh, the internet or where you could just go online and and, and see old. Of showings of you, everybody gathered around the TV yeah. Yeah. in the household and watched the Love Boat. Yeah, you know, and we all wanted to bang out Julie. You know, what I mean, that was just, <laughs> oh and gosh, I, I know, way. You know, no, really, Julie was like that. She said, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 She was a hot number back in the day. Back in the day, right? You know, we we would get seventy million viewers mm-hmm. uh, on a premiere episode. Or wow. on a sweeps week. Yeah. 70 million. Wow. wow. Now they're lucky to get seven. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It, it, it's it, it's a whole different ball game now. It's a whole different ball game. And was that um, w- w- that character, um, Isaac the bartender, everybody loved him. You know, um, did that help transcend you as an actor, too, in terms of visibility? Well, you know what happened is the uh, uh, they under wrote the character. Yeah. They didn't know what they wanted to do. Uh-huh. And so then it becomes incumbent upon the actor because I studied, you know, I studied in New York. I studied in uh, San Francisco. Mm-hmm. I studied acting. So then I, cause, and I did a lot of Shakespeare. So what I did was I then figured out uh, who I wanted the character to be. Okay, you got a black guy in a white situation. Mm-hmm. All right. First thing you got to do is you got to be charming, I think. Yeah. You know, first of all, you want to get tips. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So what I did is I laid out a history for the guy. And then I tried to gently implement what I was doing. Uh, And also to emphasize that he might not have been from the uh, 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 upper class. Uh, he might have been from the ghetto, like, or he might have been from a town like, well, Oakland. Oakland. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I had a little mustache that came down here yeah. to my chin. And uh, when they were putting the show together, they paid no attention to me. Mm-hmm. But I already had in my mind what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And by the time, it was about the second or the third year that they got around to looking at me, and they go, what the hell is he doing with that mustache? What is, <laughs> you know, because yeah. they were looking at everybody else. And I'll never forget, I'm sitting in the makeup chair, and the uh, we had a makeup man named Larry Dar. Uh, we called him Cowboy, because he always wore a cowboy, big cowboy hat. Uh-huh. He said, hey, Ted, uh, your mustache is a little uneven. I said, oh, really? Yeah. He says, you want me to fix it for you? I said, yeah, sure. He goes, Broop. oh, I made a mistake. And I looked at him and I said, you don't make mistakes. He said, what do you mean? What do you mean? I said, no, you, I've been here a long time. I've been watching. You don't make no mistakes. I said, what the hell's going on? 
So I don't know, the producers, uh, they think the mustache is too long. So uh, I said, oh, okay, well, all you had to do was say that. Yeah. You, you could have yeah. said, can't, we want the producers think the mustache is too long. Can we cut it? Yeah. You know? Uh-huh. But they didn't know how, literally, uh, some of the people had not dealt with black actors uh-huh. at all in their life any time. Yeah. So they didn't know how to talk to you, you know? Yeah. And so it, it was an interesting thing, you know, because so what I did was I said, hey, look, cut the mustache, cool. And then I went in the executive producer. I said, hey, listen, I'm cool. Yeah. We're on the same team. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to make the thing work, too. Mm-hmm. And I have certain ideas, but, you know, let's work together on this. You know, he said, well, you know, we didn't know how you were going to react. I said, well, ask me. <laughs> so why would yeah. they think you would... Cause I was from Oakland. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black Panthers. Yeah, yeah, Pointer Sisters. Yeah, 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 yeah. E forty. Yeah, town business gonna be in the building. Okay, that's what it is, man. That's, you know, I try to explain it. Like I have, uh, you know, I work at MTV half of like fourteen years, Ted. And mm-hmm. um, you know, it's a, you know, you kind of walk a fine line. You gotta, you know. You know I know now. <laughs> yeah, you know I know. I know you know. Yeah. And, that, yeah. and that's what I'm trying to hear from you because I, I don't know if a lot of people appreciate that. And this is Black History Month, so why not? Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, that dynamic is interesting. We were um, talking about this earlier today about um, uh, Arizona having this anti-gay law. Wow, isn't that amazing? In 2014. And they're using the Bible to do it. You, you, you know what it, I'm it, saying? It, yeah, yeah. They're saying this is a religious thing. Or we can't, you know, the Bible says this. Well, what is it, Old Testament or New Testament? Yeah. Because Jesus said, love thy enemy. Mm-hmm. So how? what are you talking about? Mm-hmm. You don't like gay people? They ain't asking you to be gay. Yeah. Are they asking you to be gay? Not no. Yeah. They just say, I want equal rights. Mm-hmm. It's amazing to me. And mm-hmm. they're having their base. People are really. No, it's serious. In 2014. Yeah, man. And, and, um. And so, I, you know, I don't like to – it's an interesting dynamic because, you know, um, a lot of people – I don't like to make the comparison. The gay plight is the gay plight, the African – the black plight is the black. We all have – but the, 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 the common denominator is equal rights. Well, it's rooted in the same prejudices. Yeah. It's not the, the same in that the lifestyles and everything else is different, but it's there's got to be someone for them to attack. Mm-hmm. And so it's rooted in the same kind of a thing. Who can we go after? And they've chosen uh, gay people to go after just like they've chosen uh, illegal immigrants. Yeah. You know, like all those people that came over from Italy and France and Germany, they weren't all legal. Yeah. You know, but all of a sudden some Mexicans show up and they go, wait a minute. Yeah, it's a problem. Yeah, this is a problem. You know <laughs> so what I mean? We now, weren't legal when we came here either. Yeah, yeah, you know, they had some people that were not legal. <laughs> yeah. But they didn't but they were white. Yeah. You know, so th- therefore uh, we'll we'll handle it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And and then plus when those guys got here, each you can look at like boxing mm-hmm. and see the social structure of what's going on. Break that so down. Yeah, break it down. Well, first it was the Irish. When the Irish first got here, they were into boxing, and boxing was the sport that freed them to make money. Yeah. Okay. Then it moved to the Italians, mm-hmm. and then the Italian. So you had uh, Rocky Graziano, you had mm-hmm. a whole bunch of Italian names. Then it moved on, and it was black boxers. Mm-hmm. You know, and now it's Mexican and Latino boxers mm-hmm. uh, against black box. So. Uh, uh, Jack Johnson, yeah. who was in the t- turn of the century, first, he, first heavyweight black uh, heavyweight, heavyweight champion, black champion, champion of the world, of the world. Yeah. and it it really buried a lot of stereotypes that they were trying to propagate. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So there is a social structure that is in place here that has to be fed, mm-hmm. and right now they're feeding gay people to it. Yeah. Because they want they they have to do this thing, and that what they do is they look for any kind of um, avenue. They use the Bible to keep black people down. Uh-huh. They say you're the sons of Ham, according uh-huh. to the Bible. Therefore, you are lazy, and we can't help you. You, you shouldn't have freedom. Uh-huh. It's in the Bible. You really shouldn't have freedom. So they've always used the Bible as a kind of a source book to. Any agenda that they want to pull out, they will use the Bible. You interpret it in your, the way that fits the agenda. With so, speaking of agendas, with so much that you have to offer and all your experiences, have you taken all of this? Is Mind of a Man is your new show. How did you take all of this and end up on a new game show? Well, you know, but see, there's, there's two sides to this. You know, like what I do 
is I write plays, mm -hmm. and I write historical plays. Like uh, this is one of my latest plays. It's called George Washington's Boy. Uh -huh. Look in the corner, you'll see a black guy. Yeah. His name is William Lee. Uh-huh. Okay, so the, what I have to do is I have to balance. I know that the game show, they don't want to hear this. Ain't going to get no ratings, Ted. <laughs> yeah. you, know, they, uh, you know, if I say George Washington had a black child, they go, well, that ain't the question. Yeah. The question is, <laughs> What does a man do on this situation? So you play that game, mm -hmm. and then what I do is I take the money from that game, and I put it into my writing. Mm -hmm. So uh, I write plays. I write historical plays mm -hmm. because I understand that there are certain things that, that are getting lost. And this yeah. is Black History Month. So I did a reading of this play in a school in uh, South Central. Mm -hmm. Okay? Kids went crazy. But I was able to do that because... I make money somewhere else. Yeah. Okay. And so we go back to, to the neighborhood or we go back to where kids are that we want to uh, educate or re educate yeah. mm -hmm. or enlighten. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a new play out that we're going to do in uh, Richmond, Virginia. Mm -hmm. The play's called Lady Patriot. Now, this is a story. Now, everything that I'm talking about is true. Yeah. It's George hit. Washington, uh, the first president of the United States, had a black kid. He had a black kid named West. Ford, F-O-R-D. You can Google this. Google this right now. If you're listening, stop mm -hmm. your car, pull over to the side, Google the name <laughs> West Ford. He had a black kid. Okay, now, white historians don't want to acknowledge that. Okay, so I put it in my play, you know, and yeah. when it's in the play. So now what we've done is re-educated re people. Yeah. West Ford was his child. He gave this kid his freedom when he was 21. His family did because mm -hmm. George had passed away, and they gave him 160 acres on Mount Vernon. <laughs> wow. Okay, so they didn't do that for no other black slaves. Yeah. Hey, you know, name me <laughs> some other black slaves that got 160 acres at not, Mount Vernon. Not what year was that? This was in the 1800s. No, nah, I can't do that. Yeah, all no, right, no. Now, um, so what, all, all I'm saying is, like, I got a new play. I just want to give you one other aspect. Man, you give of, me whatever. You Ted Lance, man. You uh, from well, Oakland, listen, brother. This, it, it, let me back <laughs> off the way. <laughs> hey, there you go. <laughs> no, no, no. But let me just tell you this. All right, go Sway, ahead. Let me just tell okay. you this. I, this new play is about uh, Jefferson Davis, who was mm -hmm. the president of the Confederacy. Uh, his wife, Verena Davis, was pregnant with her fifth child. Another woman named Elizabeth Van Loo loans her her slave. The slave's name is Mary Bowser. Okay? Mary Bowser could read and write. Mm. Which was, was illegal then. Which was okay. illegal, mm. and she was a spy for the Union Army. Mm. Mm. They didn't know that. Nobody knows it. They hide it. The information is there, but you've got to dig it up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's all recorded. Mm -hmm. It's all written down. Like, I've had people come and say, well, George Washington didn't have a black child. Where, where, you made that up. I said, no, it's in this book here. Mm -hmm. And don't be mad at me because a white man wrote that book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he you, told you the truth. Yeah, he's the one that said, look out for this, you know? Wow, man, Ted Lynch. Well, so the name of the play you have out... Now is, is Lady Patriot. Okay. We're going to Richmond, Virginia in May, Memorial Day weekend at the University of Richmond. And in the game show, Mind of a Man, what is that about, real quick? Mind of a Man, this is fun. It is two female contestants. La la. Like, okay. hey. Tracy G, Heather B. Yeah, and what they do is they have three panelists, and a question is put on the table. What would a man do in this situation? We polled 100 men. These are the top three answers. It is the panelists then guess which is the correct answer. And oh. the contestants say, well, I believe that guy over there. I believe her. Uh -huh. And I think that's the answer. Now, what happened was I accidentally walked into the studio to do another gig. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they said, hey, you're, you're, you're the guy from uh, the love boat. You, yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah. They said, listen, we have a bar on our set. Ah, <laughs> Would you yeah. step behind the bar? We'll promote anything that you want. So that, I said, oh, okay, okay. I'm talking about Lady Patriot, okay? <laughs> so I, I go, no, nah, that, that's a double, that's a dual thing because yeah. I get my word out and, you know, maybe somebody will hear it. Uh, so I stand behind the bar. They're playing the game. Then D. Ray Davis, who is the host oh, of yeah, the show. Funny comedian. Yeah. Very funny guy, good-looking guy, sharp, fast. Mm -hmm. he, he's got a really strong wit. Yeah. He turns and he says, hey, Ted, what do you think the answer is? Well, I've got an opinion. Yeah. You know, so I said, well, this is what I think the answer is. B. And so they do the thing. Da, 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 da. Everybody else was wrong except Ted. I said, well, that's because I'm an old guy and I've been around, <laughs> you know, I've been you around know, the block a couple know. of times. Yeah. So that's what happened then. So they kept saying, would you stay? Would you stay? And I did. I played the game. Mm -hmm. 
They had a big money section at the end of the show, and they said, look, you're not going to be asked any questions on this, but would you just wave goodbye when we do the credits? Yeah. I said, yeah, sure. And uh, so one of the little girls said, uh, they said, well, who do you want to help you with the big money? And she said, the old guy behind the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I want that guy because he's been hitting, you know, nine out of ten. So that's what happened. So when I left, I got in my car. I was driving home. My agent called me. My manager said, hey, they want you to do Mind of a Man. Can you do a week of shows? I go, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So and that's it's totally that's show business though, yeah, Sway. Yeah. You don't you don't know where it's gonna come from, but you gotta be ready when it hits. Gotta be ready, man. Mm. Ted Lance, man. Hey man, it's an honor to have you here. Mind of a man premieres tonight on uh, ten PM on the game show network, GSN. Uh, make sure you check it out, and then whenever you're in New York, promise you're gonna come up here. I would love to, All absolutely, right. my All brother. Right, man. Okay, Pleasure, man. thank you. It's Sway in the morning only on Shea Forty Five.